Hey what's up and welcome back to Easy Unreal. Today we are diving into the latest updates for the game animation sample project in Unreal Engine 5.5. This project has been a game changer for learning and implementing top tier character animation and now it's packed with even more features to explore. Before we dive in, if you are into helpful tips like this, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. It really helps the channel grow and you won't miss any of my future videos. Let's kick uh, things off with a quick overview. The game animation sample project project or GASP as the community likes to call it was first introduced in Unreal Engine 5.4. The goal is to provide free animations, best practice character setups and a solid starting point for anyone working on game animation. So uh, if you are learning, experimenting or starting a new project, GASP has you covered. With Unreal Engine 5.5 the updates take it to a whole new level, so let's break down the highlights. One of the biggest changes is the core locomotion system. The team has expanded it by adding two new states, crouch and sprint. This means that your character now move dynamically and adapt to a different gameplay scenarios. It's all designed to make your animations feel fluid and responsive. So to sprint hold the shift key and it will start sprinting and to crouch you can just press C on your keyboard and your character will crouch and move flawlessly. Also we got an exciting experimental setup because it combines state machines, choosers, motion matching and the blend stack to create a system that's both powerful and efficient. And the best part it's use fewer animations without sacrificing quality. So this gives artists more control while cutting down on time and resources so it's a clear win-win situation. Uh, one of the most requested updates is here, GASP is now fully networked and multiplayer ready. And you can seamlessly integrate these setups into multiplayer games right out of the box. So no extra hassle, just plug and play. And uh, Traversal just got an upgrade too, uh, you can now perform ledge catches. So jump over the ledge, press or hold the jump button and your character will grab it automatically. From there you can uh, climb up or vault over. It's a small detail but it makes gameplay feel so much smoother and more immersive. So if you go to the obstacle course number 5, you can just go here, jump, hold space to vault, jump, hold space, jump, hold space. Let's do this and over here hold sprint, jump, hold space and you will uh, go to the end of the level. This makes the gameplay feel so much uh, better. Uh, for uneven terrain, GASP now includes the experimental food placement node. This node handles food planting and terrain adjustment automatically, so it's still in the early stages, but even now it's a huge step forward for creating realistic movement of a varied surface. You can go over here and check it out for yourself. I can sprint on uneven terrain and it moves just uh, super smoothly, super perfectly, perfectly smooth. <laughs> uh, another game changer is that GASP is now fully compatible with mobile there's a complete hood and button setup for mobile controls. You can move, switch states and even change characters all on your phone or tablet. So this opens up a ton of possibilities for mobile game developers. And finally, we got the new uh, gameplay camera system. Uh, it's shipping as an experimental feature in Unreal Engine 5. Uh, and this system gives you more control and customization for camera setups, helping you achieve a perfect perspective for your game. So you can uh, scroll in. So choose the close camera, you can go with the far camera, you can press the middle mouse button and de detach the camera, as you can see from the character. So you can uh, move this uh, in, a, for example, Dark Souls style, uh, middle mouse button, again, you will go back to the uh, normal view. And also from the, from the previous version, you can right click to aim. Also, if you want to make this uh, first person view, you can check the link in the description. You can check out this video by clicking also in the top right corner, the card that will show up and uh, check out how it looks in the first person. Uh, these updates to the game animation sample project are packed with features that make animation easier, more efficient and more powerful than ever. If you haven't already, go check it out and start experimenting with these new tools. And remember, if you find this video helpful, give it a like, subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss future content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.